Yes, Narendra, please take your seat. Tell about your education and hobbies and uh, this about uh, you. Yes, sir. Uh, Five minutes. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, I have, uh, sir, basically I belong to Yamnanagar and uh, from past few years I am residing in Chandigarh. And sir, I have done engineering in computer science uh, from Mohali only and... Uh, which which institution? Sir, uh, it was uh, Chandigarh Engineering College. Sorry? Chandigarh Engineering College. Sir. Okay. Yes, sir. And... Uh, Regional Engineering College. Chandigarh Engineering College, yes, sir. Government? Uh, sir, no, it is a private. Private, okay. Yes, sir. Hmm. And uh, sir, after that I have been uh, studying for the civil services exam, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Since how long you are preparing? Sir, I am preparing for the exam uh, since 2017, sir. Sorry? 2017, sir. 17? Yes, sir. You have taken 5 years. Uh, first time you are qualifying? After yes, sir. Five years? Uh, sir, uh, I have uh, been able to clear the preliminary examination uh, before also, but uh, this is the first Any time. Any other I... exam you have appeared or only? Uh, uh, yes, this? sir. Uh, before, uh, before that, I was uh, appearing for the SSC examination, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Why you have taken history and you have left your computer, you have a science background, uh, why, what is the reason? Uh, yes sir, uh, the computer science subject is not uh, in the list of subjects of the optional sir. Any other yes, uh, similar uh, subject uh, you uh, have yes, been opted? Yes sir, uh, about that sir, uh, first, uh, first I studied the general sub, uh, study subjects and then uh, gradually I found some interest in uh, history sir. And so I decided to uh, pursue my interest in history and uh, took it as the optional subject, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So you like history? You love history? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hmm? Side Which side. part of the history you like? Uh, sir, I like the ancient uh, part uh, of the history the most, sir. What about uh, the Aryans? Uh, what is that, uh, this controversial history? Their background? Yes, uh, sir. The controversy regarding the Aryans is... Uh, uh, regarding their origin as well as their uh, decline, sir. Mm. Uh, sir, uh, the origin of the Aryans uh, is uh, debatable as uh, uh, the imperialist historians, they considered that uh, uh, the Aryans were, uh, had come out uh, from the outside uh, regions uh, and uh, they basically... Pardon, just excuse me, do you not agree with this view? Aryans came from the outside, do you yes. not agree with this view? Uh, sir, yes, are you agree or not? Or that's a controversy. We have used the term imperialist historians. Yes, sir. But even our nationalist, so-called nationalist and Marxist historians, whatever you mm -hmm. may prefer to call, yes, sir. Almost most of the historians are going to accept this view that Aryans were the outsiders and they have come from outside and particularly from, and exclusively they are talking in terms of the Central Asia. Yes, sir. So what do you think? This is the wrong history, right history should be written again. Uh, sir, the idea uh, was given by the imperial historians uh, and the other uh, branches of historiography. So what's your view in this regard? Uh, sir, my view... Uh, you agree with this view or not? Or hmm? uh, Yes, sir. Uh, I think that they came from outside India, but uh, the sure. manner of... Sir, I'm, I cannot be sure, but I am just hmm. basing it on the uh, findings that have been till now and... Uh, can you give the name of a single historian who has told and who has tried to establish that the Aryans were the inhabitants of India, Aryans were the aboriginals of India? Any historians, can you give the name? Um, sir, exactly the name uh, I am not uh, remembering, but uh, uh, the freedom fighters, uh, the, the sir, extremists, uh, which we call uh, extremist leaders of uh, oh, the Congress. Oh. Uh, Please give the name. Um, sir, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not remembering, sir. Tilak? Bangada Tilak? Sir, uh, no, he, according to him also, uh, they had come from some uh, somewhere near the Arctic region, sir. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. So, you belong to a weaker section. Yes, sir. Do you think that uh, this uh, Varna Vyavastha created by Aryans, if that is created by Aryans, you explain? Uh, sir, uh, the text of the Aryans is the, are the Vedas. And uh, in the, in the... Uh, Which with? The first you got the, yes, uh, this uh, information about the yes, Vada Vyavastha. 
sir in the 10th mandal of the rigved mm. which was an interpolation which sukt uh, sir in the purush sukt mm. uh, we find the information of the one for the first time sir mm. then can you guess ki this varna system should have start, started from rigvedic period only uh, sir uh, the varna system as it was in the beginning which was based on the occupation that kind of division we can see throughout the history in most of the parts of the world uh, some occupations uh, by birth or by uh, by occupation sir by occupation yes, sir you can give the example there is any example in veda where in a single family you can find out the uh, this uh, four varnas coming from the same family common same family, family. Uh, any example is given Yes, sir. There is a an example in which a person tells that uh, his if, father. If you are sure, then you said. If you are not sure, then. Uh, sir, I am not sure that it was in the way the or then. not. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Yes, I was okay. not sure. Sir. And uh, this shudra. Yes, sir. From where it has been originated and. Uh, uh sir the, the shudras also were uh, do you think that they were the uh, local inhabitant of this country uh sir yeah, uh, it can be inferred from the terminologies such as the dasas and the dasyus which have been used uh, in which the dasyus have why they are called das or dasyu uh sir the modern interpretation of the words are that uh, they must have been the uh, slaves of the Uh, of the uh, of the aryans which were uh, which were coming from the northwest sir. but i think that uh, they were very rich people that is why the aryans have invaded uh, yes sir in the, the local inhabitant of this country yes sir and you are telling that uh, they were slaves uh, they uh, sir definitely they could have been uh, prosperous before the invasion if we what was the for... concept of the indra uh, Yes, sir. Uh, he was. Uh, he has been called as Purandar. That is the destroyer of uh, the forts. Mm. From where the. So, what do we mean by Purandar? What do we mean by? Is there is any economic status uh, you are finding out? Mm, sir, on that lines, I have not uh, really thought as much. Uh, But uh, as a history, so I think that is in your syllabus also. Uh, yes, yes, sir. Uh, sir, it's I'm a very simple. Hmm? i am unable to recall at this moment sir okay acha what do you uh, know about the uh, this kisan andolan uh, yes sir uh, uh, have you uh, this concentrate on kisan andolan why it has been uh, this and why not the uh, mazdoor andolan agrarian uh, andolan only and not mazdoor andolan why what is the reason why only kisan resentment yes sir whenever you have seen the migrant workers they came from uh, this long distances and uh, so why what is the reason uh, sir the they have only a reckoning and the labor class they have not a reckoning yes sir hmm? uh, sir uh, the kisan andolan was uh, in opposition to the three acts which were uh, introduced by the central government uh, over uh, agriculture and uh, uh the the farmers uh, from uh, the north indian states such as haryana punjab and uh, uh, western up uh, where uh, the msp regime is uh, quite uh, prominent and uh, from there uh, from those areas sir uh, the the farmers uh, were agitating uh, for uh, the removal or you can say that the for taking uh, for uh, for uh, they were asking the government to take those uh, laws back sir any prominent uh, this uh, leader who is, who is uh, against the varna vyavastha and uh, the first educator uh, sir presently sir no no past the history time, yes sir. when they have started against the caste system uh, sir uh, as far as i do you think that it was uh, in favor of the india or against india this caste system has destroyed indian unity or what do you think about the caste system uh, sir definitely any sort of uh, divisions among the people uh, are going to make it easier for any foreign power to uh, come and uh, take uh, advantage of that situation sir but uh, there is no any advantage of caste system sir advantages of the caste system 
सर द डिसएडवांटेजेस मोर देन आउट वे अलॉट ऑफ अलॉट इन मैग्नीट्यूड द डिसएडवांटेजेस आर देयर मोर सर देन द एनी एडवांटेजेस दैट देयर माइट बी सो यू आर अ कंप्यूटर साइंस इंजीनियर यस सर यस सपोज यू आर अ डिस्ट्रिक्ट कलेक्टर ऑफ अ रिमोट डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ बैकवर्ड क्लास और हाउ दिस योर क्वालिफिकेशन यू विल इंप्लीमेंट इन दैट डिस्ट्रिक्ट Uh, for the it, it will be useful or uh, you sir, can use this sir uh, definitely uh, the uh, the proficiency in technology uh, is going to be helpful uh, for in any field sir today because uh, we are heading towards But how 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 you will implement this uh, in a backward district where the people don't know about the computer yes sir isn't it so how how you will Uh, sir i would have a better uh, ability to uh, decide upon uh, take decisions upon uh, what scale of technology can be implemented uh, at the present uh, which would be very easily uh, be usable and understandable by the local people uh, according to the levels of the education of that uh, place sir and uh, i would uh, be able to uh, Uh, get them uh, the best infrastructure. Who is the pioneer of this digitization in India? Uh, sir, uh, I'm not sure about that, sir. Don't know. You don't. Uh, sir, uh, leader and technical person. Have you heard about Sam Pitoda? Uh, yes, sir. I have heard about Sam Pitoda. Have you sir. heard about PG Korean? Uh, yes, sir. Why? Uh, Why is famous, Mr. Korean? Uh, sir he is famous for the white revolution and uh, the green revolution uh, sir for that uh, there uh, so for the green revolution i am not recalling but i have read that sir. and digitization sir putta have you heard about yes, sir putta yes, who is sir putta uh, sir uh, he was working with the government uh, Uh, in the previous government sir which uh, leader uh, this implemented this policy implementation have you heard about his name you do you remember or hmm? um sir i am not uh, definite about the when consolidation started who were the okay sir ab dekhna hai ab so let me ask <coughs> a few things from you uh recently there had been uh, news about india's achievement on uh, import export sector foreign trade sector so can you tell something about uh, what uh, what are those news and uh, how we you see it brings best times to the country and all that are you aware of this news uh, sir the news regarding foreign trade of our country yes, imports sir. yes sir exports yes sir overall service exports yes sir so recently in uh, till march 2022 yes sir first time in our history of our nation 400 billions of mercantile exports have taken place yes sir and 250 billions of service exports have taken place yes sir and there have been quantum jump in various these, these things you can if you do not know have a look on those things so a lot of because of various stakeholders uh, consultations and all that efforts by the various artisans uh, by the farmers by the exporters by the export promotion councils by the various states initiatives so we have been able to achieve 400 billions worth of mercantile exports in this year this is first time ever which has happened in india yes sir this is despite you see covid issues and all those and quantum logistic problems also the question so now second question i would like to ask is what is basically inflation are you aware of what is inflation what is what are exact figures these days uh, what, how it impacts a common man yes sir uh, inflation is sir uh, yes inflation is the price rise in percentages over the over the base year uh, and uh, its effects on the population is that uh, in a moderate amount it increases the uh, increases the demand in the economy 
but uh, above a certain limit uh, it is uh, harmful for the economy uh, because it's it gets uh, difficult for the people to buy their basic goods and sir uh, the uh, uh, depending upon the type of inflation whether it is supply side or uh, demand side uh, we can uh, figure out whether uh, uh, the <coughs> inflation has to be countered or uh, is it good for the economy because so only a few days back there was a, a news perhaps 3 4 days back only yes sir so inflation is now 6.95% yes sir it has reached yes, sir. how it is checked what is the index what is the thermometer according to which we check it uh, sir uh, the the inflation uh, is uh, the inflation figures are uh, released by the sir uh, nso and uh, uh, cso uh, sir, uh, the NSO, NSSO and CSO were merged uh, a few a few years back, and uh, it was made into uh, NSO. Sir, NSO. Right. Yes, sir. So these are seen with reference to consumer price index. Yes, sir. And consumer price index, why? What is the basic reason? Recently, it has arisen, increased. Yes, sir. What do you think? What is? What are the factors responsible for it? So the major factor uh, for uh, the increase in prices uh, currently are is being termed as uh, is being said to be the uh, global rise uh, rise of the prices of fuel, and uh, sir also uh, there are some uh, uh, mismatches in demand and supply of uh, some essentials. No, does does it have anything to do with the food uh, inflation also for a basket of currencies as a uh, family? They yes, have to buy food, food items also. They yes, have to pay. So, those things have also increased six point nine five percent. Yes, sir. Uh, because everything is being uh, transported uh, through the uh, through the use of fuel only. So, any rise in fuel would uh, lead to increase in the prices of any goods. And industry. And there is another figure which has recently been released is uh, index of industrial production. Yes, sir. So. It has come down drastically, yes. which shows a sort of uh, this thing. Be a little clear about just like import and export figure: 400 billion, 250 billion, 6.95 percent, and all these things. You can say. What What do you think? Crypto. What is a cryptocurrency? Uh, cryptocurrency is uh, a digital currency which is uh, based on the blockchain technology. Uh, and the black block te blockchain technology is a uh, decentralized ledger based uh, technology in which uh, the currency is uh, not ma managed by any central entity and it is uh, the transactions are recorded by everybody present on so the network. What is the view of government and RBI yes, sir. on cryptocurrency? Uh, sir, the government uh, wants to bring out its own uh, uh, cryptocurrency which would be better uh, be able to uh, they will be able to regulate it better and uh, sir they are uh, in the uh, in the 2022 budget uh, there is a provision for taxing the other cryptocurrencies <coughs> but uh, it has been made clear by the finance ministry that that uh, that does not mean that the other currencies are legal if, uh, if they are being taxed that is the stance of the government sir sir yeah just I want to ask one question, Narendra. Yes, sir. Actually, you are from, you have just already finished your BTEC and then you have switched over to history. <coughs> so, my point is, you are having a very thriving career in computer science. Yes, sir. But whenever you have moved to UPSC, civil services, you have just changed your subject mercilessly. Yes, why? Why have you taken such a decision? Uh, sir, uh, the subjects as far as uh, in this exam are concerned, they are uh, of uh, they are very they look very interesting to me, sir. Uh, even after reading them for some years now, and uh, sir, definitely I found some better opportunities uh, after consultation with my parents and some uh, other uh, relatives and other senior in people. Computer sir. science. Uh, sir, definitely I found better uh, scope in uh, UP yeah. in the civil and sciences. Sir. Uh, uh, were you having some interest in history as well? Yes, sir. And you are having the natural interest in yes, history. Sir. Yes, sir. So, later we prefer to. You might have even offered this subject computer science. Why not? Uh, sir, in uh, civil services? Yeah. 
sir computers uh, science is not there yes sir but you can just math similar subject, subject similar similar. subject like physics yes, mathematics sir. whatever yes sir uh, sir in general studies uh, i do give them a lot of attention these subjects and i read them with the full enthusiasm uh, but uh, sir history uh, has uh, lately found uh, i found more okay, interesting so sir my second one question is is it not the wastage of resources and money you have already spent the government has spent such a large sum of money for you for training you and you are just going to use your talent for a job that is designed for a generalist yes sir so is it not the wastage of resources uh, sir from my perspective and uh, even from my parents perspective sir learning uh, if anybody is getting to learn anything sir uh, that is uh, not any sort of wastage as long as i am on a uh, on the right uh, track and in the right direction i am heading sir i think in uh, what way you will use it uh, sir uh, the, i can use it implicitly in every aspect of my life sir and uh, with increasing technology and for example uh, sir uh, we are seeing that uh, lately we are heading towards the internet of things in which everything including the lights in the room Uh, to every switch sir it will be digitally connected through circuits and uh, as a district collector how will you use it how can you know what will be your specific contribution in this regard sir for example it can be used in the street, street lights uh, which will uh, automatically uh, get okay uh, switched on switched off uh, you just learn learn some element of taxation in your administration through computer <coughs> my second one question is what difference you find between history and science differences sir yeah uh, sir in science uh, the knowledge is based on uh, observations and the theory is given based on those yeah. uh, observations similarly sir that is in uh, history also that theories are given based on the evidences which are there but the difference uh, in uh, both of them is that Can you uh, define history what is history sir history is uh, sir uh, history is uh, taking out the elements of uh, change and co- the cost- constant elements and studying them and uh, learning from them and uh, sir uh, that is what uh, basically history for me so history is not a science history is definitely a science sir uh, history uh, because uh, the method of uh, studying history is same as science only difference is that uh, in uh, history there can be many perspectives and in science uh, we as we get a better uh, no, no i am not talking about science i am talking yes, about history okay narendra and there are many famous person with the name narendra <coughs> yes sir um, but i would like to ask you about indriya narendra is having indriya indriya means senses yes sir what are senses uh, senses are uh, anything which uh, through uh, sir they are uh, we can say as uh, the inputs input devices of our uh, Uh, of our body sir what are the five senses so the sir, five senses are sir vision is one and the ability to hear and uh, the sense of smell is okay, there tell sir. me is there anything in this universe which is beyond these five senses um, definitely sir uh, there are uh, dimensions uh, such as uh, of which interpretation cannot be done in the same way as uh, our senses tell us sir. okay uh, tell me that uh, what are the limitation of senses uh, let's say in vision or auditory senses what we cannot sense do you have any uh, information about that sir our vision is uh, restricted to the uh, visible band of the light and we cannot see the infrared x-ray okay, fine, fine 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 sir uh you are also interested in science fiction movies yes sir which is your favorite movie sir my favorite movie is uh, the martian sir the martian yes, who sir. was the director of that movie sir the, the director of that movie was uh, mr ridley scott sir okay uh um, any other movie by the yes, same director yes, sir yes uh, uh, the same director has uh, directed uh, yeah. alien agent covenant it i and uh, sir gi jane uh, tell me about sir. alan turing Achoo. sir alan turing uh, was uh, sir a mathematician and a cryptographer who uh, played a significant role in the uh, second world war was there any movie on alan turing yes sir the imitation game was, imitation yes, you sir. have watched that yes sir uh, it projects uh, what kind of issues with alan turing uh, sir uh, the main issue uh, in which, uh, which uh, the movie focused upon in the ending was that 
बिकॉज एलन ट्यूरिंग वॉज होमोसेक्शुअल सर सो ही वॉज रिजेक्टेड बाय हिज ओन गवर्नमेंट एंड ही वॉज पुट ऑन मेडिसिन विच वर हैविंग अ डेट्रीमेंटल इफेक्ट ऑन इज मेंटल एंड फिजिकल हेल्थ सर यू आर टेल मी अबाउट पिन होल कैमरा वट इज पिन होल कैमरा सर पिन होल कैमरा इज अ कैमरा इन विच देर इज अ डार्क बॉक्स और रूम वी कैन से एंड इट हैज अ पिन होल इन इन विच थ्रू विच द लाइट एंटर्स एंड इट गेट्स प्रोजेक्टेड इन्वर्टेडली ऑन द ऑन द स्क्रीन ऑफ द डार्क रूम सर so what is uh, used to record in this pin pinhole camera what kind of film is used uh, sir uh, different types of films can be used which are sensitive to light uh, such as uh, is pin uh, in pinhole camera film is used or not it can be used but uh, the projection can be on a normal plain wall also and sir it can be saved also through okay last question from my side uh, what is prasthan tray Uh, sir, I am not sure about that. Sir. Have you heard about it? I might have. Uh, But books are included in Prasthan Tray. Uh, sir, I have no idea. I cannot recall anything Fine. about that. Yes, okay. Yes. Thank you, sir. Yes. <coughs> Sit. Ah, uh, Narayan. You are वेरी कॉन्फिडेंट बट थोड़ा सा स्माइल करते रहिए yes, और बोर्ड को चारों तरफ देखते रहिए yes, ठीक है ना एक ये तो पहला दूसरा ये है कि अगर आपसे कोई पूछता है कि आपने बी टेक किया और फिर हिस्ट्री ले लिया तो वाई जैसे सर ने पूछा तो आप क्या रिप्लाई होना चाहिए आपको ये बोलना चाहिए लाइक एनी अदर ग्रेजुएशन बीटेक इज ऑल्सो लाइक ग्रेजुएशन सेवेंटी परसेंट लोग जो है वो एक जमाने में था कि बीटेक को वेटेज देते थे अब ऐसा नहीं है अब तो जो वैल्यू बीटेक की है वही वैल्यू बी ए की है राधा दिन बी ए में आपको पता है मेरिट हंड्रेड परसेंट जा रही डी यू में और आपके तो सिक्सटी सिक्सटी फाइव परसेंट पे एडमिशन हो गया तो ह्यूमैनिटीज जो है बहुत ऊपर जा रही है तो जब भी कोई पूछे ये पुराने टाइप के क्वेश्चन है तो आपको एक तो वो रिप्लाई देना चाहिए नेचुरल इंटरेस्ट भी बताता है ठीक है वो भी चलेगा वो, वो, मतलब वो भी एक्चुअली एक एक, एक क्वेश्चन ये आता है ना जैसे ही इज फ्रॉम साइंस बैकग्राउंड तो यू आर हैविंग द ऑप्शन सिविल सर्विस में नाइन्टी फाइव परसेंट चेंज कोई वो हाँ चेंज करते हैं तो उसमें दो ही जवाब होता है या तो डिफिकल्ट है हाँ यूपीएससी में उसके लिए मतलब नॉर्मली नॉर्मली अब जो कोई नहीं पूछता पूछ पहले पूछते थे जो जो आपको नया ट्रेन कहा सर कि ये सब्जेक्ट जो है ना एक तो पहली बात तो कंप्यूटर साइंसेज वहां सब्जेक्ट ही नहीं है सबसे बढ़िया जवाब इन्होंने ये दिया सेकेंडली इसमें जो बहुत इन्हें वे ये कहा कि इस पर्टिकुलर सब्जेक्ट के कई ऐसे सब्जेक्ट्स हैं जैसे फिजिक्स हुई मैथमेटिक्स ये बड़े नॉन नहीं भाई नहीं, नहीं ले सकता हूँ फिजिक्स हाँ, हाँ, कैसे तो ले सकता है कंप्यूटर साइंस तो है ही नहीं फिजिक्स हाँ, मैथमेटिक्स तो नहीं ले फिजिक्स नहीं ले सकता मैथ नहीं ले सकता वो कुछ नहीं ले सकता है वही जवाब दे रही है ना उसने ये मैं ले नहीं सकता नहीं बेस्ट और बेस्ट आप ये बताइए कि इट इज जस्ट लाइक एनी अदर ग्रेजुएशन ठीक है ना आप देखते हो कि 70-80 परसेंट लोग ये बीटेक कर रहे हैं बट उस फील्ड में नहीं जा रहे हैं yes. Isn't it? अब मैं आपको और कुछ बताना चाहता हूं बट मैं बताऊंगा नहीं कि क्या है उसका रीजन hmm. क्या है ठीक है ना तो वेरी गुड मतलब स्माइलिंग बट थोड़ा सा स्माइल करते रहिए और इंफॉर्मेशन बेस्ड तुम्हारा अच्छा है यू हैव डिस्क्राइब द्वेश्चन स्ट्रीट फोटोग्राफी जैसे लिखा उसके बारे में भी कुछ के कोई ये पूछ सकता है कि अच्छा नोन हैज आस्क्ड हिम अबाउट हिज हॉबीज पॉसिबली अब साइंस फिक्शन पूछा डिटेल में साइंस फिक्शन स्ट्रीट फोटोग्राफी इज अ वेरी यूनिक टाइप ऑफ आ यूनिक टाइप ना उसके लिए यू शुड बी हैव यू देयर इज सम क्वेश्चन है हॉबीज तो आई प्रिपेयर सो मेनी ईयर हो कि आपने ये किया उसमें आपको बहुत डिटेल में प्रिपरेशन है थोड़ा सा आपके पास इतना टाइम नहीं है किसी ने पकड़ा नहीं कहीं पे स्ट्रीट फोटी क्या है व्हाट इज दिस अबाउट and what you have done now what is the rational behind that are you prepared on that nahi main bata raha hu ki iska kya matlab hai ye jaise matlab casual type pe photo ke jaise wahan pani peete hue bandar ko dekha photo ki jaise yeah usne tote ko dekha wo photo ke you like it since yes ha to aapke paas photograph hai iski yes sir aapne koi iski exhibition lagayi hai sir no exhibition just for my personal kitna collection hai aapke paas 
सर इट वुड बी अराउंड मोर देन हंड्रेड फोटो तो आप क्या चौबीस घंटे कैमरा लेके घूमते रहते हैं सर दैट हंड्रेड फोटोग्राफ्स आर ओवर द ओवर द इयर्स सर सेवन एट ईयर्स सर मतलब स्टेट का मतलब तो यही है कि आप आर यूजिंग मोबाइल और प्रोफेशनल कैमरा फॉर दैट सर वो पूछ सकते हैं ना कि आप घंटे कैमरा लेके होता है क्या वट आर दो रेंज क्या है कैमरा क्या होती है किस टाइप कितने प्रकार के कैमरे होते हैं इस पर देख लेना मतलब इस पर थोड़ा सा देख लीजिएगा और बाकी मतलब जैसा सर ने बताया सारा कुछ तुम्हें बहुत एंड यू विल बी हंड्रेड परसेंट सेलेक्टेड आई एम टेलिंग ठीक है ना स्माइल करिए और बहुत अच्छा ओके एंड वेरी गुड वेरी गुड योर बैकग्राउंड इज आल्सो वेरी गुड ठीक है ना शाह इकोनॉमिक्स रिलेटेड सवालों का कर लीजिएगा जैसे ट्रेन ना आते हो तो मना कर देना अगर आपको नहीं आता है एक्सपोर्ट पर नहीं आता है तो कोई बताने की जरूरत नहीं है नहीं अगर आता है तो आप स्टेट बहुत अच्छा आंसर है ना एक इन्फ्लेशन अदरवाइज अगर मतलब नहीं आता है तो बताने ठीक है आई थिंक यस शेविंग करके जाइएगा उस दिन यस सर आज क्यों नहीं किए शेविंग सर आई यूज दैट इलेक्ट्रिक ट्रिमर सो इसका इतना ही रेंज अच्छा और मोर फाइन आई विल गो फॉर इस बात पकड़ नहीं पाए आप नहीं पर वो दिखने में ठीक है वेरी गुड वेरी गुड थैंक यू बेस्ट ऑफ लक बेस्ट बेस्ट विशेष